All right, an unboxing video. What I got here? Uh, you might be able to tell from here. We got some 22 Magnum ammo, 22 long rifle. We got some 22 longs, 22 shorts. And we're going to test all that in one gun here. My new Heritage Rough Rider. I've always wanted one of these, even though they're kind of considered to be kind of cheap and they have um, a safety, which really doesn't matter to me. I mean, this is not like it's going to be a carry gun. So whether there's a safety or not, doesn't really matter. Um, not exactly high end. Now I used to have something almost exactly like this. I had the single six convertible and it had the uh, Magnum cylinder that this has with it and the long rifle cylinder. And it had almost the same barrel length. And when I bought that probably 10, 12 years ago, I think I spent like, uh, I don't know, 250 on it or something like that. Now they're going for like 600 bucks. So definitely it was a good idea for me to pick up one of these because I'm not going to be doing like a lot of hardcore plinking. So something like this is nice. What's cool about this over the single six, it's got the, the real old style cowboy gun sound, I guess you might call it. And to kind of put it in half cock to turn that cylinder there. So that's really kind of cool in and of itself. Um, ejector rod here. So I thought this would be kind of cool to have something that can fire everything for doing testing purposes. So let's do some tests with it right now with some ammo, see what kind of velocities we're getting. So first of all, I just want to go through the chronograph. I just kind of want to see what kind of velocity differences we're going to get with 22 long, 22 short, 22 long rifle, 22 magnum. See if there's a difference here. I'm not going to do any ballistic testing today because there's not really any need to. Uh, I'll save that for another time and we'll just shoot 25 yards see if I can hit that gong So let's get started with the test. All right. I didn't read the manual or anything with this uh, But I believe we're gonna have to put it in half cock to be able to rotate this and we just drop the rounds in first up I'm gonna try 22 short and see what kind of velocity we get out of a little 22 short out of something like this Pretty easy to load. Well, not really <laughs> It's an easy process, but it's not an easy thing to do with your motor skills. Not with this little 22 shorts. So, single action only. I have to cock the, the hammer to make it fire. So, I think we're good to go if I just cock it all the way and see what we get. 22 short. 945. That's a good velocity for that. It's 29 grain bullet. 936. 968, 967, 866. So other than that last shot, that was really consistent at our, our recoil. That's like a pellet gun, basically. So to unload this thing, I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have to put it on half cock again, and we just line up each chamber and push it out. That guy there wants to, loading gate wants to kind of slip back in, but Pretty simple there. Pretty nice. All right, let's try the 22 long. All right, our 22 long. A little bit longer of a cartridge. Same bullet though, 29 green bullet. Same thing, but just different case, different power levels here. So we should see over about 900 feet per second, but you know, you don't know because it's a handgun barrel. Our gain might be lost. Nine oh six. Nine forty eight. Eight eighty nine. Nine thirty three. Nine fifty five. Nine sixty one. So we pretty much lost that um well, we didn't get a gain is what I mean. Uh, so we saw a little bit of gain in a rifle, but when I tested these two in the past, but not in a handgun. So I guess 22 long is, doesn't make much sense. Let's try the 22 long rifle. All right, 22 long rifle. We should see a gain, hopefully. <laughs> but it is a 40 grain bullet. So even if we have the same velocity, there's a gain in power because we're 11 greens heavier. Okay, 926, 895, 924, more read. 887 so our velocities are about the same between all three of those um, but 
you know, of course the long rifle is heavier bullet, so it's gonna have more energy. What can we do to make it more powerful? I know, 22 Magnum. All right, so we have to take off the cylinder, so I'm not exactly sure what we do other than push this button, pull this pin, that should be it. I don't think we have to put in the half cock or anything. Actually we do, yeah. Kind of. Put on our 22 Magnum cylinder. Push that in place and push our rod back through. That should be it. I think it's in place. All right, pretty nice. So, 30 grain. I think these are like varmint, Winchester varmint, something like that. So 30 grain, they're about the same bullet, bullet weight as uh, those shorts and longs, one grain heavier. But those were getting about 900 feet a second. Will we go over 900 feet per second with Magnum? Let's see. 1397. 1343. Add a misfire on that. Let's rotate that back. 1464. 1432. 1510. This is weird. I thought I was out, but I was not. It's been a while since I messed with rimfire, so. Yeah, we're getting up there five to six hundred feet per second gain with the Magnum over, you know, our long and our short. Definitely a difference. Let's plink at 25 yards and see how these different rounds will do. All right, first up, the 22 short from 25 yards. What's cool about 22 shorts, the only round I would ever really take these off for realistically. Uh, let's see what we get from 25 yards with the 22 short. This is not my preferred method of firing, but uh, one-handed, but you know, I'll get a couple hits. Let's try the 22 long. All right, 22 long. Let's see how this does. All right, let's try 22 long rifle. All right, 22 long rifle. That extra bullet weight should stabilize it a little bit better down range. All right, one more 22 Magnum. All right, 22 Magnum. We'll see how this does. I pulled all those last shots because I'm not used to firing one-handed. Um, but one thing about this gun that's not really talked about is it is bored out for a 22 Magnum, obviously. And even if you buy the ones that have, that are just um, 22 long rifle only, they are also bored out for for 22 Magnum. You know, 0.224 instead of 22 long rifle, which is 0.222. So what that means essentially is you might get a little bit of uh, decrease in accuracy at range, but it's, you know, we're talking 22s, it's not a big deal here. Um, but one thing I will say is there was a time in my life where all I had was one of these for defense. It's all I had. I didn't have a carry permit at the time. I didn't have any other handguns. I had one of these, not this brand, not a heritage, but I had my single six, which had the same barrel length in the, in the convertible. Uh, cylinder and I felt well armed with it to be honest. I had I don't remember what ammo I had in it But I had some 22 magnums and I loaded it with 22 mags. And I thought 
this probably do pretty well and I, and I honestly thought that it would because I used to shoot fence posts and stuff blow holes right through both sides when the 22 long rifle wouldn't do anything so overall a 22 mag is not bad now compared to a single six yeah it's definitely not the quality and it it is kind of weird because it kind of sticks a little bit like when we're trying to change the cylinder or even even eject the cases you know it just doesn't feel like my single six i keep having issues here with it you know the loading gate is too loose the rest of the action is too tight so it's just yeah it's not a single six but you know it's still a quarter of the price of the single six so of course but for the money it's a pretty good pretty good revolver I, i'm not going to complain about it. it feels right right having it out here in the woods it just feels right and if you were going to do some small game hunting where you're going to get dirty you might drop this thing who knows um i'd much rather have this than than a single six uh, so it's a pretty good little revolver so that's what you get today so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching